fun. <laughs> if anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong, that would be today's episode. By the way, that camera's recording, so don't say anything to... Oh, well, the microphone's recording as well. Okay. Don't say anything to... <clears throat> oh, obscene there. We are... I can't... No, I don't want to. No. I like having a little bit of an intro. Yeah. Do you have Instagram too? Yes. Well, then log in Instagram, and then you can join it from your thing. Oh, it's okay. Okay. You're just... I don't, I don't just doesn't to. matter, hey? Oh, it's a login. So oh, I it's a login. Here you go. Here you go, Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins. Yoga buddies. Here you go, big dog. Ready? How's, uh, so we're back, the three of us finally are here. Yeah, hello, so hello Riley while. Jones, Kecko, a robot. Yep. A, a, a robot or a Kecko a robot? Kecko a robot. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. GLO. Oh, we have uh, someone with the heart eyes. Heart eyes right back to you. A E J. No, how's the week? Week's been good? Week's been good. Yeah, how about you? Can't complain. No. I'm not going to say it's the same old. But it kind of was the same old, but not really the same. Space old. Dom, hello. <laughs> Space Dom. You don't have to yell at him. Hello. <laughs> he can't hear me. He can't hear me. I don't know where he is. Thumbs she... up to you, Doc is Strange. Yeah. Oh, mine. I don't mind it with uh, the phone we, without the app. I like the way this looks. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. You actually, yeah, this looks not bad. Well, we used to do it. We, yeah, we used to. Did we? Mm-hmm. I thought it was the iPad from the Get. And by Get, I mean Get Go. I, had to, uh, I remember I had to do all this stuff to get it on. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's see. We have Jordan Gab Gab El Boss, mm-hmm. Space Dom with Guten Morgan, mm-hmm. Parker with the emo- laughing emoji. Mm-hmm. KF says hi, people. Hey, hey, KF is back. For everybody listening on Anchor or Apple Music or Google Play or whatever, this is episode. This would actually be episode three of the audio that we put out now. I mean, we've been doing the live thing for a while, now this is just straight audio. you be able to release the old episodes? Uh, m- maybe. Actually, yeah, I probably could. Do you um, have a hamburger? I had, no. Yet. I, I had a sandwich earlier. <laughs> but Dr. I Strange, hi, I'd love your page of content, thank you. That's good, there Check you go. YouTube, you'll love it even more. I don't know if you'll love it or even just more. Much. Or maybe just like, he'll like it. Maybe, maybe it's if you're a mom, it. you have two kids, yeah. you know, like, you know. But yeah, if you're on Anchor and you're listening and you want to get in on our live show, we do it every Friday around 8 o'clock whenever we get our stuff together. Um, you're listening to the audio about a day later. It's on Instagram, on Entertain Facts on Instagram for 24 hours, and then we release it on YouTube shortly after. True statement. Um, on true Sunday, that is a true fact, not necessarily an entertaining fact, but it's a true <laughs> fact of life. I never said I post entertaining facts. You just, you just, just if you post it, it's true. Show for entertainment. Yeah. yeah. We are also enjoying a nice Glen Morangy uh, nectar. It's delicious. I've been looking at Pure Life lately, so I'm drinking Nestle Pure Life. Get yours today. I think it's Nestle. Nestle. Is what, nestling is what a mother does with her yeah. child. It's Nestle. It's Nestle. Ne- it's not Nestle. This is the same thing we talked yeah. about the other stuff. Um, I forget what he said. You should change the name of Entertain Facts to your podcast but can be called, called the, the N Word. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's a smart idea. At first, <laughs> listen, listen, that's not the worst idea I've heard, but it's not. Okay, wait, I, I didn't understand that at first. I'm like, <laughs> well, like, why the hell would I call it the N Word? Like, that sounds much worse than the F Word. Oh, man. We would get killed. Yeah. We would get, like, especially. Shortest because, podcast ever. <laughs> because someone would come back in and then they'd go to the live thing and be like, wait a minute, there's three white. White guys <laughs> do a good <laughs> show called the N word. What would it be? Nentertain facts. Nentertain facts. Entertain news. Yeah. Entertain entertainment news. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. No, we're not. We'll, um, think. we'll discuss it. We'll come yeah. back to next week. Couple things in uh, in the news this week, and for those of you who are on live right now, let us know what you think. James McAvoy and Bill Hader are in talks to be in It Two, which is actually starting to shoot in Toronto, Canada, this summer. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's not confirmed. We don't know who they're going to play. I can see Bill Hader playing What's His Face's character. Um, Bill Hader. Bill Hader. He's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, sorry, Bill Hader. And, and is rumored to play, uh, Richie, I think. Richie? And then the other guy is meant to play the main character, Billy. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then we've got, um, Jessica Jones renewed for season three. God of War 4 coming out. Yeah. In, like... 
many days? Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. I'm super excited about nice. it. Um, there's well, been Tuesday's some, when they usually no, release. It's Tuesdays, Tuesday. whatever it's the Friday. 20th is. Friday. It's 20th That's Friday. That's Friday. 13. So Friday. Yeah. Um, it's a week today. Yeah. yeah, week today. That makes more sense. Also, for all you Batman fans. Jake Gyllenhaal, that's the name. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes, what do you call it? Correct me one more time. I'm going to correct you the entire time. All day. Jake Gyllenhaal said that, that he's not playing Batman and those rumors are false, so... Thank you. Yeah. I don't think he was ever going to do it anyways. I think he just... Okay, well, if he got offered the role, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't say no. I think he would. Why? I think he's the type of actor. Okay. Joe uh, Joe Gonzo thir- oh, 03 says, "So is it going to travel the globe, scarring kids until they all defeat him? Then he goes to space?" Wow. I don't think so. And the only reason <laughs> is middle of a conversation. How Sorry. It? It's okay. It was a good the, comment. The only thing with that is that it Thanks, actually uh, uh, Danbury Danbury I think is a town. It only lives in there and has been haunting that town forever so if they really wanted to do a series of short stories it would be the every i think it's every 10 years i don't know the lore too much 27, I think. 27 years sorry comes back haunts the town so from whenever to whenever every 27 years there's a new haunting there's a new story there's a new thing so because it only resides there i don't think it's gonna happen see the good thing about like some other kids who like can't eat milk or eat ice cream they wouldn't be in that situation because they're allergic to dairy and they just wouldn't be there I don't know how I feel about Anthony being here right now. I, uh, I, no, yeah. Uh, I'm gl- yeah. To to that point, no. I am uh, Anthony intolerant right now. <laughs> wow. See, that was a better one. That's a much better one. Is that why you weren't here last week? Uh, yes, he needs yeah, a break. I did. He needs That's a break. That's why it all helps. Uh, my do, you remember, do you ever watch The Office? Yeah. yeah. Do you ever watch The Office? Yes. You're watching Jim. Jim Krasinski, mm-hmm. uh, who plays John. John Krasinski, who plays Jim. Uh, uh, there's been like memes and photos and, and stuff, and apparently he has shown interest on him playing Mr. Fantastic, which I think would be, for, for lack of a better term, fantastic. And Emily Blunt uh, playing the Invisible Woman, which I think would be Blunt, awesome. I think that would also be and I think yeah. it would be really cool <laughs> if they did that because they're two top like right now uh, John Krasinski as an actor I like him uh, I really like him in 13 Hours the Michael Bay movie which mm-hmm. is one of the few Michael Bay movies in the past 10 years that I could say that I, I thoroughly enjoyed um, but it was pretty cool just uh, a pause and, uh, Emily Blunt awesome actress Brody Rourke one says hello 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 and Nathan Hernandez says I'm okay with Jake not playing Bats yep. so am I who, be else to come back. who? No, he's not going to come back. Who do you think no. should play Batman? Um, John Cena. <laughs> I want to see the movie. John Cena would play Bane. Yeah. <laughs> <in a new laughs> play. The Rock. <laughs> no, The Rock would be a terrible Batman. Why? That's true. What do you mean why? Yeah. He's black. No, no that has nothing to do with it. He's, he's he can't take him he's seriously. Not, no, he's not black, right? He's not white. He's either. Samoan. Yeah. Exactly. Not not like Samoa Joe, but actually maybe exactly like Samoa Joe. Well, Samoa Joe is Samoa. But I think there's so many other people that could play Batman. Nathan Hernandez says they should explore Mr. Fantastic Child with reboot Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. They already did. It was called Fantastic Four. What was the actual question? That's what it was. They should explore Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic Child. If, Fantastic Child? If they read Fantastic Four. They all that read. is... No, no, no. Fantastic Child, is, I, I, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I don't, is an actual comic line. Like, something... There's, a, there's an actual thing where it's a child, a child in there. Anyways, uh, I think John Krasinski would be awesome. I His child. His child. Yeah. I think John Krasinski would be awesome. Emily Blunt would be awesome. Um, they're just really... Emily Blunt's an amazing actress. John Krasinski, so far, directing-wise... He's crushed it with Quiet Place because it's doing really well. And apparently Rampage is not doing as well as they wanted. It's like at 27 million so far and it's still behind a Quiet Place which has been crushing. I, I, I hear from a few people that it's actually not as bad as a movie that like they thought it would be. It was actually I don't like think... it's pretty gory but like a, a lot of people what? are saying that it's a, Rampage. Like, Rampage. Yeah. Really? Yeah. See I'm I'm on, is it rated? I'm I'm on the side. It's, it's rated like uh, 13 or whatever. Yeah, or something. Yeah, or 14. See, or I'm just whatever. looking at him like this looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. Like this massive disaster movie going on and and it just looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I actually heard that Rampage is part of the Curious George extended universe. Yeah. This was just an alternate timeline. Great. 
That's a true fact. Sure. Okay. Whatever you want. Joel Gaunt says. I do so remember the old video game though. I actually finished that. That was the first video game I've you ever finished. finished. Is that a video game movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's from the eighties. I'm yeah. glad it broke the trend of getting rid of the board game. That's so true. what you're saying that instead of it in other places, there's going to be other version of him like is and in and finally is. <laughs> is in it. Is in, and in, in it. And finally, it. it. It's. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? it isn't it is weird? In it. Isn't yeah. it not gonna happen? It's not gonna what happen. What is it in? What is it? Yeah. I knew okay. where you're going with that. Most things went over is F and head. F no, and head. probably because it's too fast at catches. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Nathan said child, his child, typo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, his son, son is like, is like super, super OP and great universes. Sweet. That's great to hear. I think that'd be too big for them. I think they. I'd, I'd rather them explore the Silver Surfer a little bit more and bring Galactus and actually give Galactus some justice I because agree. they totally screwed him up in the last movie and I'm not happy with it. Are you guys excited for the new Godzilla monsters coming in the next movie? No. Mm, I probably won't no. do it. I'll see it because I do like Godzilla and I think it's really cool, but I'm not I'm not really excited. Is there another for Godzilla it. movie, or are you talking Pacific Rim? Is no, no, no. Oh, Pacific okay. Rim's already out. Yeah, okay. He's talking about an right? actual Godzilla yeah. monster movie because yeah. they've been working on this monster universe um, with like the actual monsters, monsters, not that monster universe was like has started with the mummy and going forward. It ended with the mummy. It started literally ended with the mummy, and they are no longer like they've scrapped this entire world or whatever. Well, DC was gonna call their like side universe the dark universe but then yeah more, because swamp movies. swamp thing was going to be a part of it uh constantine was going to come back they have this whole other dark version of the dc with again the swamp thing in that which i think would have been interesting but dc's not having the best uh best life out there right now also i think we need nick should talk about this because this is bringing up a lot, I've like read a lot of hate comments about this. Is that WWE mm -hmm. is having the greatest Royal Rumble, which looks really good. Chris Jericho is coming back, so I'm watching it. That it's, on its own, yeah. It's at one in the morning, so I'll watch it the next day. But they're in Saudi Arabia, right? Yes. And there's like strict no woman, so I don't know are they they're allowed in the stadium, aren't they? But not to compete. Well, yeah, exactly. And a lot of people are mad at WWE saying they're not even gonna watch. The WWE is being dicks about it. Or well, they Saudi shouldn't Arabia? have even like done business with Saudi Arabia because of those See, circumstances. I agree with that. I, I agree with that. Especially I think with it's... like they're in the middle of this woman's revolution and they're yeah. basically telling them to go screw themselves. This is yeah. That's I'm I'm kind of that's what I think. They the WWE. I mean, they're a global entertainment brand, right? Yeah. And why not go after one of the richest? Uh, countries in the world so from a business standpoint i could see why they're doing it um you know in terms of uh cultural you know reasoning as to why they're you know they don't have women in, in there i i understand why like uh, it's their culture but for wwe to say uh no to this particular segment like because they can't bring women in i i disagree like i i think from a business standpoint you you always say you take business separate from religion separate from politics right so for them to go in there it's a huge market it's one that they can capture and yeah if you have an opportunity where i'm sure they're going to be making a ton of money mm -hmm. um in a time where they're you know the last few pay-per-views let's face it wrestlemania was a snore it was not a good we not a good watch the full thing yeah just in general like in general, yeah, it, was, it was one of the worst WrestleManias that I've, I've watched. Like, it was not great. There was no... The John Cena Undertaker match, like, it was such a waste of time. It was two minutes and made this hype and, like, they, this build-up for nothing. Like, he was... John Cena was like a loser in the in the match, like, and it made him look really bad. Was that when the other was the Undertaker retiring? No, nope. no, oh, okay. he retired like three times now. Wow. Well, oh, all right. Technically, yeah. Sounds, sounds fun. Yeah. So you're you're on the side of they. It's they best should, for business. It, it's good for business for them to do what they're going to do. Absolutely. It's not like WWE said we don't want our women wrestlers to be there. They do want them there. But if the if the the culture, if their you know religion, whatever, tells them like you can't have you know females running around scantily clad, you know whatever it is, and for that reason your women can't perform. Okay, well now it's it's the same as having like a promoter saying like okay we we have to follow these rules. These are the rules we're going to go by. In the end, you're going to follow the rules. But you're I, not going to boycott Saudi Arabia because I don't think they should. Their I'm not saying boycott Saudi background. Arabia. I don't think Saudi Arabia is to blame for this because they have their own way of doing things. 
I'm saying, and I'm kind of I'm agreeing with uh, with Anthony on this, is that don't go there in the first place. How long would it take to plan something like this? Ballpark, a year, two years? Uh, yeah, probably a year. a year. Yeah. So matches, contracts, locations, everything like that. And I'm looking at it just straight from that. Yeah. If it takes you that long, you already know that Saudi Arabia has these rules. And if you don't, then whoever put this together really screwed up. Right. So with that being said, I wouldn't have done it in the first place because you are, because of how they operate, you now have to, you do have to adapt. Don't have it there in the first place. Go somewhere else. And yeah, it's a global thing, but where did it start? Where is it, does it all happen? Yeah. Don't have it somewhere where it takes away something that has now become even more in the forefront, which is the females in wrestling, which has been around for a while, but now it's even bigger. You got Ronda Rousey coming in, okay. which is another conversation. Don't do it there. I think it's stupid of the WWE to go there. Do you think it's stupid of McDonald's to open up in India, even though they don't sell beef there? Did they open up in India? Of course. Okay. So then why can't the WWE just have their women there? But see, here's what the WWE is doing. They're a global brand that's adapting. So They're not it, adapting. I think they're what they're doing is they're 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 allowing their business model. They're sorry. They they I don't think it's a good thing for them to go there because of that. Because then they're like, well, we're going to take the money. Who cares about the females? And we're just going to go somewhere where there's restrictions. And who gives a shit? So they could still, though, you could look at it from the other angle and say, okay, like, you know, our female wrestler, they can't go. They should. They deserve to be here. Mm -hmm. And maybe this might start something where, hey, they look at it and say, you know what? Maybe our rules are outdated. So maybe the WWE going there, and even though they're not bringing their wrestlers. I don't see wrestlers, that happening. But at the same token, though, I mean, you, you got to... From the WWE standpoint, you have literally a multi-billion dollar, you know, market here. Why would you not tap it? So, like, it's like McDonald's not going to India because they don't eat beef there. What did McDonald's do? They adapted. They, It's all chicken and veggie stuff on their menu, right? Okay. So, for, is it stupid that McDonald's did that? Even though, like, their model technically is hamburgers, right? It's the same thing. They're adapting their business model to a country where their rules are different. Yeah, but you're talking about something that's, I, I am imagining this match is quite big. This event is quite big. It, the event is quite big. It's the first time it's in Saudi Arabia. So you're breaking down a barrier where in the, in the first place where typically you wouldn't see entertainment like a WWE go there. I think it's huge for them to, like, let them into their country and perform there. And so, yeah, if you have to make the concession and say, okay, you know, WWE, they, they're doing the right thing. They're saying, we want our women to perform. We love, you know, them as superstars. But if the country doesn't want that, then we do what we can to, to, to get our business model there the way they want it. I don't know. That... That's my opinion. Like in the end, st money is money. I still I see disagree where you're from. because of what the WWE is. It's not yeah. just men. It's men, women, all sorts of stuff. So if you want to really promote your brand and do it the right way, you do it the way that you're doing it. Yeah. Don't go somewhere that slashes your your thing in half. Okay. Yeah, McDonald's did. That's fine. Yeah. McDonald's has billions of locations or whatever millions of locations all over the world yeah. so they can afford to do it there the wwe is one thing yes it's a global brand but it's one event that can move travel go wherever they they need to right yeah. um that's where i'm going at it where it's not like there's a million wwe's and they're like oh we'll set up shop in saudi arabia and we'll just do a male one yeah. okay that's fine do your thing because you still have the other ones that aren't compromising the way that the business is run but it's not like that it's one entity going and changing their entire business model for that or adapting their entire maybe not changing but adapting yeah. their entire business model for that but again, that's kind of, that's my argument against yeah. it, which may not hold any water for a while. Well, the thing is, it's not like they're doing it, because I agree with Nick in the point where it's, they're adapting their business, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But they're like, it's not staying true to their morals, because they think that, like, women are the, basically the greatest thing, they push them saying, this is the woman's revolution, women get the same thing as men. Mm -hmm. But here they go to a country where they're in the middle of this, right? Like, they're giving them money in the bank. Yep. They're giving them the Royal Rumble. They're mm -hmm. probably going to give them tag titles this year. Yeah. But then they're going to a pay-per-view where they're like, okay, well, you guys just sit on the sidelines. Well, all of them, like, they have, like, how many matches? Like, over, like, around 12 matches, I think. So there's a championship match, a yeah. Rumble match, yeah. other matches, yeah. too, which is, like... Well, my other thing, too, to that point, wrestling is about stories. Mm -hmm. Correct? Not this one. 
not this one. So this one is just guys going over there and pretty much going what people have been well, saying. Well, could have a story, but because it's a promotional many... stunt is what it is. Like it's, that, that's yeah. all it is. Yeah, so it doesn't a, tie into the overarching story it's that's like been when created. WWE came here. Yeah, yeah. like it, nothing changed. Anything. It doesn't. Yeah. It didn't do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this might potentially, but like. Like okay. some live shows do, but I think there not, will be a title change there. I think not, that's where Roman Reigns is going to win his title. I do. Or Bobby Lashley coming. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I hope not. But yeah. I like because it's happened before, but they're not going to build it up. They're not going to talk about it. On yeah. TV. They're just going to go for it. Yeah. They'll yeah. advertise it. But, it's a, yeah. it's another live show that will create revenue. It's almost like another pay per view, but that's in right. a much bigger stadium with a much bigger audience. Yeah. Yeah. So Joel Gon says, getting off the duty. Yeah. yeah. I think this is a guy from last week too. Okay. Wait, this is the right timeline, right? Yeah, I think it is. Sorry, interdimensional traveling is very confusing. KF says, hey, just just subscribe to your YouTube. Cool. Thank you. Nathan Hernandez, can Warner Bros. make a DC Rebirth as massive a movie event like Infinity War? No, they cannot because they can't make a movie. Well, I, I think uh, they can't because well, they a don't. Well, DC movie. I, the only reason Infinity War is as big as it is is because it's been built up for 10 years. You cannot do something that just comes out of nowhere and think that it's going to be the biggest thing ever when you've got something that has created something from nothing, had a couple stumbles here and there, but have increased. That's That to me, is it, it's an impossible thing to ask of DC and it's an unfair thing to ask of DC. Okay, uh, there's a little fun poem up here from Johnny Quasar oh. I will not read. Okay. Uh, Nick Hernandez says, um, to that poem, which is, you know, true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let you read the poem after, though. The chimp okay. is back. Hey, Vsauce Chimp here. Nice to see you. What's up, champ? So, oh, let's see. Joel Gaunt says, all this talk of wrestling reminds me of my days of boxing. They call me the Great Gonzalez. I would have won the championship if that blasted David didn't sneak brass knuckles under his gloves. They had let that happen? I don't know. He would have been better off with magnesium, because why would you bring brass knuckles? That old CSI episode where that guy loaded his gloves with magnesium? I don't remember that. Oh, man. And he was like, they, they, they realized it because when they were watching the film, he had his hands down because they were too heavy for him to lift. But then once he punched, it was like this massive impact. <laughs> I don't know why. That's one of the CSI episodes I remember the most. It makes no sense. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about, I put it, I put it up, episode. I'll do it after this, but I want Nick, I want uh, G to read this poem. So, I'm going to be talking about, I put a poll up on my Instagram story just to see what people would vote. So I'll talk about that just quickly, when you're done telling me, let me know, it'll be quick. All so right, I said, that. is Black Panther a diverse film? What would you say? Yes or no? No. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's it's like a bit over 50-50 for yes. Yeah. And people are DMing me saying like, you know, I don't see how it's not diverse because Apparently, because it shows African American people, it makes it diverse for some reason. Yeah. But diversity means there are multiple, like, there's a variety of things. So if you're in, like, I get you're in Africa, right? So I'm not saying it's back, it's not diverse. Yeah. But it's not a diverse yeah. film by definition. Like, I mean, Infinity War yeah. technically is more diverse. Yeah. Just because they have Asians, Blacks, Whites, who knows what else, they have yeah. Titans. So yeah, I'm just, just but, the more you know. See, the problem I have with that poem is that it didn't actually go anywhere and it almost played like a haiku but it wasn't structured like a haiku so next time you want to put a poem like that make sure you structure like a haiku it's a lot easier to do you have seven days come back us next week <laughs> next week come back with a poem in that form of a haiku like that because with the haikus traditionally they have a message they don't necessarily have a story here you're almost starting off trying to explain a story and it ends up going to nothing so <laughs> that's my argument also yes Tino Macris Anthony is a little mute here. Well, I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. Well, it's Tino Macris. Whenever Tino Macris says Macris, sorry. Yeah. I was put the imposter on the wrong syllable. Uh, whenever Tino Macris says something, everything stops and listens. Okay? Okay. Chad or collaborates in says Mayweather versus Big Show question mark. No, that was a right. WrestleMania one years ago. Yeah. Was that a did didn't that he break act, his that, nose? That actually happened. Uh, Mayweather broke Big Show's, broke Big Show's nose. That actually yeah. happened. Was that when Jericho and him were tag team partners? When Jericho and who? Big Show. I, I don't remember, but I know what it was. Like he broke his nose because. Um, Did he just like punch the tip? It was yeah. They were like they were kind of jabbing in the ring. It was all all a shoot, and then all of a sudden, um, I think because the Big Show made fun of his height, like Mayweather like got set off. And he legit punched him in the nose and broke his nose like it was bloody and everything. Yeah. 
So Joel Gaunt says, all this talk... Oh, I already did that. I'm sorry. Yeah. KF says, I want to try boxing, but no, my mom is making me take dance. <laughs> I mean, I like it. Well, the I good thing, it. if you want to transition into boxing, dancing will help you. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Joel Gaunt says, I died that night, then came back to life in some place in Russia. Cool. How'd you get back? He's still there. Oh. Joel Gaunt referring to the boxing, by the way. Joel oh, I guess with the brass the knuckles, he died that night and, and woke up. came back in Russia. Sounds like uh, Rocky 3. It does sound better. No, Rocky 4. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, other thing too, for the Anchor listeners, for all the people out there, um, again, if you go to Anchor, it's also on Google Play, it's also on um, Spotify, Apple Music, all of that. We release this on audio, and I also just put up a deep dive episode I did with two guys. Uh, one's name is Jim, the other guy's name is Hennick, and we talked about some of uh, like their favorite director, my favorite director, some of their best and worst movies, all sorts of stuff. So if you guys go there, uh, again, load it on Anchor. For some reason, the logo's not there, so it's like a purple box, but the F word title is there. Um, so yeah, have a listen, and it's something I'm going to be doing often with a lot of different people, just to get a bunch of people's like thoughts on movies they want to talk about. So. Also, funny question, just because that reminded me, yeah. what is the worst movie you've ever seen? We'll get to it, ours in a no, second yeah. before after come, but just comment what the worst movie you've ever seen is. Worst movie ever. Yeah, I don't know, you oh, might explain also, after. The Room doesn't count, because everyone's <laughs> going to say The Room. I doubt anybody see. I've tried posting facts, nobody likes it. Nobody likes The Room. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't think people get it. And get how bad it is. Okay, so real quick, Tino McCreese, I just finished watching, quote unquote, the end of the F hashtag 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 in world on Netflix. Did any of you check it out? I think you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I ch- I, t- I, I wanted to check it out. I just. I got a review. Out. I got a non spoiler review up on the channel if you want. It's, it's a little bit older. I didn't mind it. I felt it oh, fell cool. off. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Just go, just yeah, yeah. Go on YouTube. Um, go on there. It, it started off really strong. Kind of fell off a little bit, but again, I got a non-spoiler review on the channel already if you want to take a look at it. Brayden says, what are your thoughts on Infinity War growing so much? It makes sense. Yeah. Growing so much in what way? Like, I guess in numbers, like for tickets, like they've already oh. outsold the last seven Marvel movies. That's expected. This is this is something we talked about last week. This is something that everybody is congregating to and every, people that have don't give a crap about superheroes is actually excited to see. I hope Sophia's so- excited. She is. Yeah. Totally. Even my Sophia's excited. It's in the name. It's in KF the name. KF says, I don't know, yeah, yeah, true to something. Joel Gaunt says, chasing the chicken training always worked out well. Mm-hmm. The Chimp says, so with Infinity War trailer, just because a blast of blue was in the background of a shot, it's not like there are, you know, lasers going off in that scene, so yeah, it's, it's Quicksilver. It could potentially be Quicksilver, or is Quicksilver. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, think what they're in the, it's that war scene, like, right in Black Panther, like, in the, like, yeah. Wakanda. I didn't pay that much attention. And, like, I saw the video in the background, so just a blue blur going, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah, it looks just like a laser. You know what would be awesome? Now that they have Fox, laser. it might be Evan Peters' Quicksilver. <laughs> that would be the best. And they have another slow-motion montage with another song going on, and he, like, starts beating people up. As much, like, as I'd like them, <laughs> as soon as X-Men go to the MCU, they're all going to be cast. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I see that. Well, except for um, Sophie Turner as um, Dark Phoenix. I think the X-Men Apocalypse youngins will remain the same, depending on what their contracts are. It's too confusing. That's not too confusing. Well, yeah. For the average movie goer, they're like, oh, wait, are these the same all the time? I don't think it matters. I think once you... In it, you the first one, yeah, might be a little bit weird, but once you just keep rolling it out and rolling it out, people are naturally going to just go, okay, fine, this is it. Okay, so KF says Hugo was the worst movie ever. Oh, yeah, that was a bad one. Was that the one? What was that? That was, um... Was that the Dictator one? No. I remember it being bad. Okay, you think. Braden says Green Lantern, Justice League, you know, the usually sucky movies. A lot of people say superhero movies are the worst movies they've seen. But, honestly, that just makes me think that they haven't seen enough movies. Um... No, there's been some really bad superhero movies. Well, like, like the Batman worst movie. Baywatch was I, awful. Baywatch was awful? I, I Baywatch with it. The Rock you was saw it? awful, yeah. Oh. On the plane. Why would you watch it for the plot? <laughs> I never said the plot. I just... On the plane, On the saw plane, it. I saw it. Like, I was... Yeah, I mean, I just thought I'd watch it. Awful movie. Yeah, that one. KF says it was us. <laughs> Gremlins yes. 2. Gremlins 2 is still my worst. Gremlins 3. Two. Yeah, shut up. It was one mistake. KS says, it was stupid in my opinion, but that's just what I think. The chimp that says Spawn was the worst movie. I didn't mind Spawn, but I think when I saw it, I was re- I was really young when I saw it. So I was like, this is cool. 
Yeah. Dorgon says, I can't recall the amount of times that I've come back to life, especially since I had my memory erased a couple times during these 115 illusions. Tino McCree says, I tried the waffle double down from KFC today and it was okay. I had that three days ago, so I shoot a real estate show uh, on the side, and the one guy brought a double down. And you know what the worst part was, is I bit into it and I felt super sad for myself. And then I got even more upset because it tasted good. And you liked it. The maple yeah. syrup complemented the breading on the chicken in such a way that it was, it was both playful, endearing, and a little bit sad. Playful, endearing, and sad. Yeah, I only finished the three. Combination. I, I finished three quarters of Must it and one hell did, of a bite. did not feel good for a while after. That is the truth. Is it bad? I went to KFC and they were out of chicken. You must be from England. <laughs> well, also, just we have a lot of American news. I see the chimp was confused about the double down. The double down is a Canadian item, which is fried chicken, waffle, fried chicken sandwich. And then there's maple syrup and cheese and stuff in it. It's pretty much a debauchery in uh, a sandwich. Of, I don't okay. even know if you consider it a sandwich. Yeah. It's just like, oh, I've got these three things. Okay, great. Boom. Almost as bad as a donut burger. Okay. Yes, it no. sucks. You yeah. said worst movie was Baywatch. Baywatch and Gremlins 2 is actually, I think, worse. The Chimp says Emoji is a bad movie. The emoji movie. I never saw that one. I, right dis I definitely didn't want yeah. to see that one. The Sausage Party movie is the worst movie I've seen in my life. Oh, uh, you saw that one? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I disagree with you whole That's the one with the food animated. Me and Pat right? were watching it. Didn't laugh a single time. That's because yeah. you guys don't get it. Because we're not. I guess Sounds like a trick. We were watching it. I, guess, I don't know. No, I watched it when I wasn't high. Don't get me wrong. It does slow down, and it's not the best thing ever. But they end with thought, an orgy that wasn't funny. Was just the disturbing. orgy was hilarious. The Chimp Three Two uh, One. George Clooney's Batman sucked. Agreed. Agreed. It did. It was awful. Big time. Yeah. Oh my god, we got a lot of comments over here. KF says also, and also in Kentucky, if you say fried chicken. They think of chicken tenders, nothing else, just chicken tenders. Oh, yeah. Oh. Chicken tenders are great. I like yeah. that. Joel Gaunt says, sounds like a turducken for... Or, <laughs> turducken. Or, or if you're a fan no, of how no. much your mother... It's a like chicken and a waffle, yeah. not a chicken duck. Not a, no, but what he's saying is that... A chicken stuffed in a duck it's... stuffed in a turkey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tom Hardy released some photos. Sorry, just to cut off. He's as Al Capone. Look at that. Looks pretty cool, eh? Mm -hmm. Tom Hardy's Al Capone, I'm gonna buy that for sure. Tino McCree's awesome. worst movie, knockoff starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. That was a horrible movie, he's absolutely what right. What time is it right now? What was it called? Uh, knockoff, We're so good. You know what, Tino McCree, I know you're working with somebody else right now, so why don't you ask that person what their worst movie was and just come back to us. That one was a really bad movie. I remember it had picture in picture in it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 07 even yeah. says, damn, they're no one for 56,000 views. Well, guess what? I may have 56,000 followers, but not all of them are awake at this time. A lot of them are across the world in sleep. Yeah. BT.UK says Star Wars Christmas special, anyone? That one oh, was a horrible one as that well. Was a movie or like it, it was, was a movie, a movie in the 80s. Awful. Yeah, it was awful. Chewbacca had a family. Howard the Duck was insane. shit. You yeah. take that back right now. Howard the Duck was not shit. It was shit. It was, I don't know. <laughs> also, one more thing I want to add. If you guys are like aspiring to be a meme page or a fact page, whatever kind of page, don't go to someone else's page and say, follow me, because I will go at you, and I will not feel bad about it. <laughs> this one person drew a uh, thing from Stranger, Stranger Things photo, and it was horrible. My sister said, hey, can you tag like this person on the photo? I'm like, you know what? For the sake of your dignity, I won't. <laughs> and then I DM them after saying, because they're like, putting on the story, like, oh, I'm getting a lot of hate. and said, you know what? Don't be bad. You're an artist. You want to get better to practice, or just, you know, use this prison to yourself. But like, just don't advertise on my effing page ever again. <laughs> And then I blocked him. Yeah. Wow, that was a great story. That was savage. It was. Jesse, oh, Tino McCree says, Jesse says, Trainwreck with Amy Schumer. Trainwreck? <laughs> I disagree. I loved it. I think John... Trainwreck? John Cena, Cena was in it. <laughs> with yeah. the dirty talk scene with John Cena? Come on, that was funny. <laughs> I, <laughs> liked, with I liked Trainwreck. I don't know why people were all up in... Uh, or we're, we're talking about how good LeBron was. I didn't think he was good. Bill Hader was awesome in it. John Cena was hilarious John Cena in was it. so good, man. I really like yeah. Trainwreck. Okay, now moving the conversation on to positive. What is the best movie you guys have seen? I'll read up the comments. That's a up. tough one. People uh, are going to go crazy. Tough. Give us a few them. lists. Nah. Okay. Gremlins 2. <laughs> uh, David Leach uh, is confirmed as the director for the Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw spinoff film. And if no one knows who David Leach is, he did uh, the John Wick. 
Oh. He's a stunt coordinator. He's a big deal right now, and I'm super excited because then that thing's going to be awesome. It's going to be like, did you watch F- Fate of the Furious? I did. That prison scene? Yeah. Okay. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah. With this guy confirmed to direct it, it's probably going to be like the entire movie as like a prison scene. It's going to be awesome. I'm BTE so UK says hello. Hey. Josh says, I live in Kentucky, I believe. KY? Yeah. Kentucky. And I live in KY. No, they don't shake my head. I think that was referring... To the chicken tender, maybe? Maybe. Because he's she said she was a ducky too. Maybe. So maybe uh you're getting called out on your lies, KF. What was the name of the movie with Stallone and Schwarzenegger, uh, where Stallone was in a prison Escape. on a boat? Escape there you go. That one was awful too. That yeah, was that wasn't great. very good. Yeah. BTE, so Star Wars. Power of the Dark, we did that. I'm actually watching a show right now called Lost in Space. It's on Netflix. It's supposed to be this new one. It's not very good so far. Mm-hmm. I'm on episode two. Not, not enjoying it. Why do you watch the full series through reviews? Why don't you just like watch as many as you can? Just... Because what happens is like a lot of times I can say that, listen, it may start off like this. I, I think you need to watch the whole thing to actually give a review, even if it's a non-spoiler. But what if it's like really crap? If it's really crap, I'll sit through it and I'll do you it. So I can just say, listen. And you know it's crap. Not, yeah. <laughs> like, just watch like half of it. Like, no, because some shows end up picking up halfway through some. Well, like their fault. You should have to pick up from the start. No, because some give it all up in the start and they fall off in the beginning. Statement. Like every, like Batman vs. Superman or Justice League, you know, like no, those movies. Superman is uh, ahead of its time, so. Uh, yeah. Watch in a couple years, G, then you'll be defending it. No, yeah. trust me, I won't. KF says, have you tried the chicken and waffle Lay's chips? No. Negative. Which one? Chicken waffles, Lay's chips. No such thing. Well, it depends where you're from. <laughs> no, I've never tried them. Joel God says, you know, one of the aliases, Al- 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 I, I went aliases. by... Aliases. Aliases. I went by for a spy job with someone's Canadian cousin. Mm. Gonzalez says quite the story. The Chimp. 2015 Fantastic Four was bad. Metal Man was bad. Hello, yeah. Jay. Watchmen was the worst. Okay, yeah. Steel. The Anything Dark Knight trilogy was kind of bad. Okay, oh wow! Can you ask? Please. Let me get through Sorry. these comments. Like, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Well, he's reading them. Yeah. He's like trying to go through. What are you looking? You're going. Now. I'm going. Yeah. I'm oh, actually. Hey. Con- I'm not. I'm not saying I'm- they don't ruin the movie. You're just uh, butt hurt because your beloved DC can't do anything. Your beloved Walking <laughs> oh, I- Dead is failing. I do not and- watch Walking Dead. But yeah, you know, I guess DC is failing. Like, you know, screw Christopher Nolan and you know, the whole uh, genre you just set up. Dude, that doesn't yeah, even yeah. count. Yeah, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy your spirit movies. Yeah, so th- that doesn't Christian even Bale. count. Yeah. For, for anybody talking DC right now is not talking about Christian Bale movies. Those sit by themselves. And honestly, wow. you do not need Batman to make those movies good. It could have been any any other person and they still would have been good movies. The fact that it was DC, yeah. you were... Yeah, okay, Marvel's better than DC. Name one good DC movie. The Dark Knight. No, 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 not that one. That one doesn't count. Name another one. Batman Games. No, no, no. But it doesn't count in Why the doesn't... conversation. Why doesn't it? Because everyone's talking about the MCU. Okay, you can't compare like 17 movies to four of them. No, but we are talking about the DCEU that they were planning. This is where you don't understand. I'll sit here and I'll defend the Dark Knight, except for the Dark Knight Rises, and I'll still defend some points of it, even though Dark Knight That's Rises. Fun. You think the Dark Knight no, Rises is the best one? Oh, Second I was gonna punch one. you right now. Um, the Champ Future One says Tomb Raider is bad. Yeah. Okay, now I think one of the good ones, because the newer, the oh, newer or the older. Speaking of bad, I don't know. It's newer or no older, but one of the worst movies I've seen for a superhero movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Two. It's not the worst. Okay. You are failing on every opinion you First have. First of all. <laughs> Name one memorable scene from that movie. I don't care. You killed my mom. Mantis giving okay, all so their big opinions. Cliche. It's not a big cliche. He killed his mom and he found out what happened. That's he what finally happened. realized when he turns into... Part where he's in space and he... When like, he turns into yeah. Pac-Man, the opening scene was so really what? cute. Him getting the, paid to be Pac-Man was good? It doesn't matter who paid him. The fact that Pat, he, he turned into Pac-Man because he's still a kid from Earth. Not I'm not kid, saying it's the best one, but for you to say it's the worst one is you have no grounds for that. Yes, it was not memorable. Mantis I was annoying. It. Drax Ma- had the same jokes repeated over. David Groot was a selling point for the movie, and they said it wouldn't be. Chris Pratt, sure he was good, but this had no effect on the MCU. If you didn't watch this, it wouldn't have mattered. That's Except for the one post credit scene. So, Ant Man had no bearing on Ant Man the- Falcon. That's yeah, sure. Which led into Civil War, sure. But the the movie so as a whole, yes. The, the movie as a whole did not. The character had one, but it does. It didn't have an effect overall. 
but I think you're failing in a lot of no, what you're trying to establish. Same. Also, ego being gone, and Doctor Strange, the Ancient One being gone, Who's and he? ego, the Living Planet, Kurt Who Russell's character. Ego? Thanos does, because if that if ego was still around, he wouldn't be able to take over. Ego is a bad guy. What the hell would he do? Doesn't He'd probably matter. help him. He's trying to take over. He's trying to plant his seed, so to speak, all over the place, so then he can grow himself all over. But first of all, Thanos he was gone for like four years, so why does that matter? What do you mean four years? That happened in 2014. You know the timeline. Yeah, exactly it happened in 2014. Right, right. You know the timeline. Not exactly the same way. Right? James Gunn said it also, happened like literally almost exactly after. That's why Baby couldn't just be the movie sucked. <laughs> it wasn't as good as the other Based one, but I liked it. If you guys like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, you're wrong. Just don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, this is what young kids defend themselves with. Yes. It just is. <laughs> oh. I just shut down every point you had. Ego was no, predictable you. villain. I knew that he killed his mom. So? Every single one of your beloved DC movies are Pratt. very believe, but like it doesn't matter if if you buy into them wholeheartedly or if you like, oh, I caught this or I caught that. It doesn't matter. It's how it's put together. Yeah, well, it was put together very horribly. Not horribly. Yeah. Structurally speaking, technically speaking, it was a very good movie yeah. from a technical standpoint. Been. Oh, it's Anthony, it's one day you'll learn. I honestly cannot say I remember a single scene other than the Pac-Man one. I'm pretty sure right now you're remembering 12 scenes. Oh. They're just not together. Because you're telling me about these, like, but they're not good scenes I'm remembering. Oh. It's mm -hmm. not good. It's not good. It's not Next good. question. Okay, the best movie I've seen was Back to the Future 1 and 2. Joel Gaunt, best movies I've seen, probably the Gonzalez Chron <laughs> <laughs> Gonzalez Chronicles, but you guys don't know it. It comes it out in the future. future. Oh, sweet. <laughs> you the comedy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, KF says, lol, no, I don't live in Kentucky, but that is what I heard from my teacher whose fiance lives in Kentucky. That's what he told us today. Well, tell me he's a liar. <laughs> the Chimp says, the Dark Knight trilogy was kind of bad. Brayden says, also, I love Batman 1989. Mm -hmm. The Michael Keaton. Oh, yeah. those were really good. KF says, my dad works for Frito Lay, lol. <laughs> I know what type of chips there are. And I, them. <laughs> no, I rather love them. I was lawyer. just kidding, man. If you were a lawyer, I was lawyer. just kidding, but yeah. KF says, also, at best movies, all of the Star Wars. No. Uh, all the uh, original Star Wars? Not, yeah, the first... all the Star Wars. Uh, with the exception, I'm hoping, of Phantom Menace. Yeah. And The Last Jedi. And, yeah, The Last Jedi wasn't great, but... And I feel a lot of them. A lot of them. I like yeah. The Last Jedi. Oh, okay. Of course you did, G! Of course you did. You. You know what? One day you'll learn what a good movie actually is, and you'll be able to construct your own <laughs> opinions on movies based on actual That'll facts. That'll coincide with Oh, this. I think it's done. Or is it low battery? battery? Low battery? That's okay, we're wrapping up soon anyways. Yeah. Why was The Last Jedi a good movie? Because the director refuses to take any criticism on it, saying he's going to make the same bad movie, but a trilogy now. Uh, no, It made I Luke just... Skywalker look pretty badass, Luke, though. Mark Hamill hated the movie. I don't care if he Mark said Hamill he hated, hated the movie. Fair enough. Was. I don't give a shit if Mark Hamill hated his, the movie that he was in. Mark Hamill hates life. Mark, no, hates Mark Hamill is actually a guy that I Mark I, I Hamill is love. Star Wars. So if, if the man of Star Wars is saying the movie sucked, the movie sucks, okay? Ooh, no, a lightsaber is Star Wars. Really? As an actor, and why wasn't it in Rogue One? Except for I guess it was because it had nothing to do with the Jedi. But you just said Star Wars is what it is. Sure. <laughs> okay. No. Keep on Last scrolling. Jedi. <laughs> Last Jedi was a was a good movie, but for people that are so inundated and so hardcore about Star Wars, it wasn't. For me, I'm not. I, I enjoyed it as a movie. I do not give a crap about Star Wars anymore. Why? Because That's someone it. did because one thing in one movie, and now you're going to sit there being the yeah. butthurt little child who no, thinks he cares about Star Wars? No, because that was a horrible Wars. movie. They're it's not a horrible money. movie. I don't even want to see Solo. I only do it because I have to review it, but I honestly do not give a crap about it. Solo has nothing to do with The Last Jedi. Yeah, but you know, it's a part of the same franchise, and that's how they're going to make the next movie. Uh, Let's see. That's all I heard. <laughs> so, Star Wars movies, Planet of the Apes movies, Corpse Bride, Dirty Dancing, all the Rocky movies. Okay, there's five being taken out, but I guess yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that one was awful. <laughs> Except for the last, Tommy the Dino ending, that fight, in the, that, 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 the fight in the alley where he sweeps his leg around and he does that twirl thing. I thought that was pretty cool. In which one was that? Number five. Oh, okay. Like, right before the... Hey, like, yeah, at yeah, the yeah. End. And because I'm just a weird Oh, Big Hero 6 was amazing. I love I Big, Big Hero, Hero 6. 6. Me too, man. Braden says la, 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 was la. awesome. <laughs> Chad, both Garden movies were amazing. Uh, just, except for the second one. The first one was alright, I guess. Well, yeah, here he goes. The Chimp says, MC TV shows are cancer. Blade 1 and 2, the best, but 3 was trash. I agree with you, MC TV shows, except for a handful of them are pretty bad. The I don't what? know how Agent Shield is. It might be good. You talking Gabriel about MCU, MCU TV shows? Yeah. 
Yeah, they're about 50-50. KF says TBH Guardians of Galaxy Volume 2 was seriously not good. That's cool. It's the truth that you come full circle. And it's not the truth. Ass. The problem is that whenever you say something's not good, you just say, it just sucks. It I just gave sucks. you solid it just proof sucks. as to why it sucks. No, you didn't give me proof. You just said, he name me one memorable. He defended his argument well. I will say you that. Said, you, just said, you just said, name one memorable thing. You're banking it off what you liked about Justice League and Batman vs. Superman. There are three or four memorable moments. The rest of it is garbage, but you're banking on those three or four memorable moments where they're all together in a room or talking or Aquaman sitting on what's her face's uh, lasso or Batman vs Superman where they fought for all of I don't know six minutes you're taking very small minuscule moments and you're ex inflating them to the point where you're trying to believe in yourself that you love the movie so much when you pick apart those movies they are awful so you're telling me name a memorable moment that does not justify or let you know if the movie is good or not there's a lot of really good movies that may not have the most memorable moments they're just good movies name one name one don't google it just name it no i'm not gonna name it. i'm i'm <laughs> I'll give you some time to think. Okay. Hell or High Water did not have many or any memorable moments. Fantastic movie. Why? What do you mean why? It was a well, good character development, good story structure, more good motivation in your characters. Uh, you had your villains who were also playing the protagonist. You had meaning behind everything that was going on. The cinematography was good. The writing was tight. So and you just mentioned cinematography. Wouldn't that make you remember a scene? No. Why? Then how's it good? You don't even remember the cinematography, so how's that good cinematography? Because I remember it was good cinematography. I don't because it was good cinematography throughout, not just one scene. You're trying to pocket an entire movie into one concise scene. That is your problem. No, Guardians of the Galaxy isn't a good movie because, first of all, there weren't any memorable moments. That doesn't mean it's not a good movie. We need to wrap up anyways, you got about Second five of all, minutes. the humor was just pushed down your throat where it wasn't even funny. I disagree. But they go repeated ahead. the humor that wasn't funny. It's subjective, so go ahead. They kept on pushing the same characters who had no character development except for the one good guy, Yondu, who they decided, you know what, let's kill him for no reason. There was a lot of character development in Yondu, and it was most evident in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Guardians of the Galaxy said, 2 was... Him. So? Just because they killed him? Yeah, why? What, what do you mean, reason for why? That? Because Peter Quill finally realized who his father was, and oh he found out God, he was a piece of shit, and the guy, that, the guy that was with him the entire time was actually his real dad, not his real dad by blood or anything like that, but was the person that protected him from getting eaten, all that stuff, and treating him like a son, when his actual dad was a big piece of shit that killed his mom. That's been the driving force behind Star-Lord, and everything that he's done, and even though he is that rebel that makes the mistakes, it's part of who he is. Let's see what else there is for comments. Yeah. You know, I want to say this on another podcast. So oh, this will be an entire one. I'll do an yeah. entire deep dive just on Guardians 2. I have to watch it again, though. Oh, yeah, of course. There's going to be memorable scenes back in how why was it actually... This is salvage. Why was anyway, it go on. Joel Grant says, all this talk about Thanos reminds me of my version of the Infinity Chronicles where I have to travel. Keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Okay, other versions of me so I can beat a evil version of myself with the help of... David Vogue. You need to go. You need this to find, a, yeah. find an actual question. Detective find McCain an question. and the beautiful Susie shit. <laughs> Your phone's gonna die and then it's gonna Chad, cut us Chad27 says, I like the guy in the middle. Thank you. I don't know why. He's defending <laughs> a horrible movie. Big Hero 6 was good. And it doesn't matter if you think the movie sucks or KF not. KF says, lol, I kinda it. cried too about Big Hero 6, not yeah. Guardians, because nobody gave a crap about anybody who died. Yeah, I'm George, <laughs> so hello. Hello. So <laughs> now what's our favorite movies of all time? You go. Uh, you guys go first. I don't know. I, I, mean, you I, don't know. I have so many. This is, what's the first one that popped in there? Don't say Hitch. No, I won't say Hitch. Uh, hey Blake, we're wrapping up now, so you joined too late. It's okay. It's gonna be on for twenty four hours. I don't. I, I really don't know. I like. I. Goodfellas, easy. Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Mind okay. you, it depends on what your criteria is. It is a movie that you watch consistently all the time, or is it one that you're just like, I've seen it a few times, but it like your favorite movie when when somebody says what's your favorite movie first thing yeah, that comes to your head all the time. Tax All Rich. Great movie. Yeah, because it was memorable and had a lot of good scenes. Yeah, I don't know. Had a good like, message. For me, I just, I don't know, I don't have like a favorite movie of all time. Are like, you sure? I, your, you guys your are problem arguing is, the is same that point unless, over and over again. Unless with each other, someone, the problem is, is that unless someone agrees with you, you know, like unless someone agrees with you, you won't be satisfied. Well, guess what? There's gonna be a million people that disagree with you for their own reasons. That means there's a million people to change. 
sure. And you'll never get there. But thank you for everyone listening on Anchor right now. If you want more stuff, you can just follow us on Anchor. You can follow us at the uh, on Entertain Facts. Um, this is just for the people that are listening, not you guys right there. Um, Entertain Instagram. Facts on Instagram. You can go to YouTube and look at us up at the F Word for more stuff. And uh, every Friday we do this. We sit around. Nick, say hello. Hello. Anthony. Hello. One second. I was going to read off the final comments. I'm going to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And G, oh, we're going to wow. read off some comments, wow. and then we're going to be out. So thank you for listening. So I'm not going to be the name. I'm just going to go through it. The Forbidden Kingdom was my favorite movie. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Has Jet Li and Jackie Chan in it. Oh, okay. It was okay, yeah. Chad says, can I follow the man in the middle? If you do want to follow him, he's primarily the YouTube guy. He has his opinions on there. We're going yeah. to contradict them most of the time. You can follow change. me on Twitter at the F words G. I'd love to hear from you anytime. And I also kind of do the YouTube stuff as well, along oh, with so you these gents. you can email him. It's a very long conversation going on for like two weeks now. Oh, man. Me and this one guy, he's awesome. The dude's from Denver. Geologist. See, I was going to buzz my beauty. phone. I think somebody's texting me. He's just like, <laughs> D. Lee says Pulp Fiction. Oh, great movie. Happy Tapioca. And I'm Batman slash Potato. Yeah, I actually have. Uh, I actually talk Pulp Fiction and all sorts of stuff like that with uh, on our F Word on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, all that stuff. We talked to our favorite directors. I talked Scorsese. The other guys are really big into Nolan. We talked about Nolan, all sorts of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Check it out right there. And uh, I love you guys so much. Awesome too. No, we didn't. So, uh, yeah, because if we don't... <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Nick's like, guys, so cute awkward. eyes. What do you mean awkward? <laughs> that was awesome.